everybody we're going to start off this look with a little bit of tape here in the outer corner I've been liking that sharp look lately so we're going to do that and then we're going to apply our favorite eye primer as always I'm using my Urban Decay primer in original gonna apply that all over the lid bottom lash line everywhere where I'm gonna apply a little shadow just a tip bit of information I always used to rub my primer on but now I've learned that patting the primer on until it seeps into the skin is a much better deal it keeps my shadows stuck to my eye a little bit longer so try to pat it on okay, instead I'm gonna of rubbing. go ahead and use a color called cinnabar and this is almost a skin tone brown for me you, this is going to be the transition color so whatever color you have that's closest to your skin tone go ahead and use that I'm using my dirty 217 brush from MAC and I've kind of wiped it off a little bit but that black is not moving but um, I don't think it's going to affect the look so we're going to start applying that into the crease here and we're using windshield wiper motions and circular motions just blending that into the crease the next thing I want to do I want to add a little bit of beauty mark I believe that's what it is but I'm gonna pop it out and look at the back to be sure uh, but this is beauty mark by Mac I'm going to use that same brush and apply that into the outer corner and sweep it kind of halfway into the crease so I'm gonna tap it outer corner tap it inward do small little circles but keep the brush on the eye we don't want it to go above our transition and we're creating our V here brushing it down on the lid down towards the lash line okay now I'm gonna use the NYX Jumbo Pencil. This one is in Milk. That's the white pencil. I'm going to close my eye and apply that right to the lid. Right in that empty space there. Okay, I'm going to take my finger and kind of press that into place. And I'm taking my finger just a little bit above the white and kind of smearing that down. You see how it's fading into the white? Fading that color all the way around into the white. Not too far into the white, but just enough where there's a fade there. So you don't always have to use your brushes. You can use your fingers too. And the warmth of your finger is going to help those colors blend. Okay, I have a pigment here. It's by MAC. Very sparkly, very light, light, light pink. I'm going to use this. It's called uh, Kitchmas. I'm not really sure if this is discontinued or they still have it. I don't know, so don't quote me on that. But it's a very pretty color. I'm just going to apply that right on top of that milk pencil. Matter of fact, just not to make a mess, I'm just going to use the lid. You see how sparkly that is? I'm going to put my brush right on the lid and I'm going to press that color onto the milk. same brush that we went into the beauty marked color with I'm gonna go ahead and rub the excess uh, eyeshadow off of this brush right on a paper towel don't add any more um, eyeshadow we're just gonna go around the kitchmas and neaten it up a little bit for my brow bone highlight I'm gonna use a color called soft brown right here I'm gonna use a flat shader brush and go right into soft brown okay guys um, I'm gonna go into my naked palette and this is by Urban Decay I'm gonna use the color Sin very frosty color just gonna apply just a tap of that right over that soft brown Use that same blending brush and blend it out. 
Another color I want to bring into the mix here is called, um, ah, don't make me lie, it's a berry color. I'm going to pop this one out too. This is a uh, Mary Kay blush, I believe, but I'm going to use it on my eye. And I need something up there to make this uh, pink pop, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this right in that crease. And there we have some color. Still not satisfied with my uh, highlight color. I decided to go back into Kitchmas, the lid color. I'm going to apply that on my brow bone. And let's see what happens here. Just a little bit. I'm going to use another MAC blending brush. I'm going to use the color Carbon. That's a matte black. Gonna apply that into the outer corner. I'm gonna tap it first, and then I'm gonna blend it inward, creating that V. And it's gonna look so sharp and crisp when I remove the tape over here. We're gonna go ahead and use our black NYX pencil in our waterline. I'm also going to go back into the color Beauty Marked. I'm going to apply some of that to the lower lash line area. I'm going to go ahead and apply just the tiniest bit of this plummy color here to the inner corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and just press a little bit more of that pigment right in the center of the lid just to give it a little bit more pop since I added so many other colors and blended you kind of forget what the star color was now I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara of choice this one is the volumizing mascara by black opal and the one looks like that just going to apply that over the top and bottom because I'm going to add lashes. I'm going to go ahead and apply some liquid liner. It's from a company called Fair and White. Found it in my beauty supply store a while back and I've been liking it. I'm going to go ahead and apply these extreme lashes number 747. I also got these from the beauty supply store. Very pretty natural looking lashes. I'll definitely buy these again. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to them and with a little bit of a makeup wipe. And of course you're going to add your concealer. This is your completed eye. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to do the other eye and my face and I'm going to come back with a completed look. Stay tuned. Okay guys, and this is your completed look. Okay, on my lips I'm using a Nika K lipstick called Violet. 997 is the number and it looks like this. Those are the kids talking. And you saw the eyes. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cyber kisses. See you guys next time. Oh, by the way, everything that I use on my eyes, lips, everything will be listed on the blog. And as soon as I have that blog up and running, the link will be in the description box. Stay tuned for the pics at the end. Bye.